So if you have to generate the first of the month for a calendar year, you don't want to have to manually type in a couple of the months and then drag them down only to notice that you have the wrong year and then you have to update them all again. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to simply and quickly populate the whole year from one formula. So let's start with the basics. So we'll just do a date. And then we can put in the year manually here. And we're going to use sequence as a formula to populate our months. And we'll do 12. So what date does is it uses a year, a month, and a day. And so we can set this as the first of the month. Now, so far, it doesn't look very exciting. We have the first of 2024, but we don't have the full count year. So all we have to do to make that happen is put array formula around our date function. And now, voila, we have the full calendar year. Now, one thing to note is you can actually use this to populate more than one year. So all we have to do here is change this 12 to 24. And now we just populated two calendar years. So that is pretty cool. Now, one thing is what if we want to change this year? So currently we'd have to come back in here and change the year here manually. But you can also make that year a reference to a cell. So we could do it like this. And now we can just type in whatever year we want. And that year will populate and update automatically. So whatever year we enter, it'll automatically update. So that's all great and well. Now, one thing I'll show you real quick is we can also change how this shows up because maybe you don't want it to show up as a full date. Maybe you want to emphasize the month. And so under number formats, so if you click one, two, three here, now the normal date format is just a normal date, but we can change it to a month. And so let me show you how to actually put this together. So we come over here, we can either mess around with this or we can clear this out, just delete everything in here. And then in here, we'll go to month and I'm going to change this to month as abbreviation or if you prefer, you can do month as full name. And I'm going to click back in here, add a space and then do year. And then I can choose here if I want two digit or four digit full numeric year. So I'll go ahead and do full numeric year. And now we have January 2026 through December 2026 changes to 2024. We can come back here, change this to 24. And now we have two years. So I didn't add the number format down here. So let me just go ahead and select that. And then it should be right there. And boom, there it is. All right. So what if you need them instead of going down a single column, if you want them across? So maybe you want January through December this way. So we can use this same formula with a slight tweak. And so I'm going to go ahead and build it from scratch. This will give you a chance to look at how this formula goes together again. So to build from scratch, I'm going to go ahead and include the array formula up front. And then inside that, we're going to do date. I can select my year cell. Then I can do sequence. And I'll just do 12 for a calendar year. And I'm going to make everyone the first of the month. Now this, as is, is going to fill down. So I don't want this one. What I want to do is use a formula called transform. Pose. So what transpose does is it takes something that is a column and turns it into a row or vice versa. So this will take our what would be a column going down and it'll turn it into a row going across. So now if I do that, now you can see I have the same thing, but now it's going across and I can even change that as well to those month and year. And now if I change this, that updates accordingly. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out the other videos on our channel. So thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day.